Before we start, I need to make a disclaimer. Any firmware upgrade or downgrade will most probably void the warranty of your scooter. And I saw at least two cases on the internet where people bricked their scooters while attempting to install a custom firmware. So do it at your own risk, assume all of the information here can be wrong. Things you will need. First you will need an Android device with internet, and you will need a fully charged Xiaomi M365 scooter that has battery management system, also known as BMS, with two fuses. There is a theoretical way to define if you have one or two fuses, and there is a practical one. I will write down the theoretical way in the description under the video, and there are also other YouTubers who made videos about that. Neither me nor someone else will guarantee you that the theoretical way is correct, so you do it at your own risk. The only sure way is to open up the battery and check out if there is physically one or two fuses if you want to be 100% certain. I put the link in the description to Donut's video on how to open up your scooter and make it 100% sure that you have one or two fuses if you don't want to take the risks. The process itself. Step number one. Visit m365.botox.bz website on your Android device and create your own desired firmware. Check the parameters that you want or you can press on the link to see which values do I use on my scooter at the moment. You can press patch and save the file to the place on your Android device where you will be able to find it later. Step 2. Download M365 DownG app from the Play Store to your Android device. Connect to your scooter and be sure you have at least version 13 application. Press the check version button and if you follow the instructions in the app you might find that you need to press it again to see the actual firmware version currently running on your scooter. Step 3. Press the open bin button and select the file that you downloaded before. Hit the flash bin button, cross your fingers and hope that everything goes well. If it does, in about one minute you will have your new customized firmware uploaded to your scooter. Step 4. Hit the check version button again and double check if you got your 1.3.8, which is my recommended version, uploaded. And take your scooter for the test ride. Repeat the steps until you get all the parameters right and you are happy with your scooter's performance. And the final step 5 is not mandatory at all, but I would appreciate if you hit the thumbs up or thumbs down button under my video, post a comment or subscribe to my channel. It will let me know that I need to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.